You would think that hanging mirrors was as simple as putting a couple of anchors in the wall with some screws and then just hanging a mirror where you want it. In most cases, that's absolutely true. However, there are times where this is just not feasible, especially when the item is either very heavy or the drywall has somehow been compromised. In today's video, I will be going over the steps to install backer boards that provide a solid surface for anchoring. First, you need to determine where you want to hang the mirror or whatever it is in your situation to determine where the backer board should be generally placed. I do have a video with various techniques on hanging wall art, so be sure to check that out if you need detailed instructions on how to properly measure. Here we're just using the eyeball method to figure out the height and um, yeah, so and this happened. <laughs> Who said it had to be all work and no play? From the ceiling down, the top of the mirrors is at 22 inches. The hooks on either side are six and a half down from that, and the distance between the hooks is 16 and 15 sixteenths. I'm installing these in the middle of the faucet, so I marked the middle plumb line and measured eight and seven sixteen over on both sides to make the marks. This is where some beefy screws will be installed to hold these heavy mirrors. I'll be using 2x4s for the back of boards which are 3.5 inches wide, so I need to cut out a couple of 4 inch sections of drywall stopping at the nearest studs to span the distance of the mirrors. When measuring for the wood you'll be installing in between the studs, make sure you measure a little tight, that way it doesn't accidentally fall behind the wall while you're trying to install it. Quick tip on drywall repair. Cut a piece of drywall bigger than the hole you are patching, place that on the wall and trace it out. Cut the old drywall out and cut a piece of wood that's about four inches longer than the hole. One by three works great. Hold the wood while you screw through the existing drywall into the board and now you have a backer board for the new drywall to be securely fastened. As I'm going along, I'm making sure that there's no nails or screw heads that are popped out. I'm using the same drywall that I took out to install the backer boards, but making sure to replace any damaged sections. I can assure you that knowing how to repair drywall is a skill that allows you freedom to do so many creative things in your home and even those who rent because the key is, is to make the repair as if the hole never existed. It's actually an easy process but just takes time and patience. I have a full video on this channel that goes from start to finish so check that out if you need detailed instructions. Now it's just a matter of recalling your previous measurements and hanging. Since I already knew, 
I was going to need some drywall repair after removing the old mirror. Installing these backer boards wasn't that much additional work. Now if the wall was not in need of repair, then I probably would have used some heavy duty hanging cable, such as the one on the screen. This system would allow you to screw directly into the studs and just hang the wires onto the screws. The cables can be adjusted where it's seen or hid behind the mirror. However, this method typically makes the mirror stick out and lean forward. But as long as you're not hanging something over 40 pounds, you should be good using the cable method. So as you can see, there's definitely different layers and levels to hanging mirrors, so a wall art in general. Um, this, these mirrors were so heavy that I just did not want to risk them falling off the walls just using anchors. I talked about the cable method. That would have been more secure and would have lasted, but it wouldn't have gave me that flush finished look that I was looking for. Speaking of end product, it did take a lot of work to get to the end result here. I did document everything, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section. As always, I really appreciate you all sticking around for this one. Until the next time, eight.